Hey, my lovely Scorpius, how you doing? Hope you're doing good this week. I'm going to start with your reading and see what's on and popping with Scorpius this week. I am not saying the signs, everybody. <laughs> I've been saying it through my whole videos. I'll be saying a few signs, but I'm trying to stop the signs saying because it could be anybody, you feel me? Okay, so let's see what's going on with Scorpio here. What is the overall energy between Scorpio and the person? I love tweets. Hmm. What is your energy of Scorpio? And the person tweets. and the tower. What else, please, for Scorpio? Oh. You came out like the high priest and the queen of cups can arise. Hold on a minute. Give me a second. I'm sorry, I had to go outside and attend something real quick. Okay, so you got the Fool, the Tower, and the High Priest, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. So what I'm seeing here is like, um, I feel like somebody here is going to move on from something, possibly. Trying to heal this, the situation that they've been going through with their person or their past person or whatever's going on here. They're trying to heal the situation. You're coming up like the high priest. So, you know what you want. You know. You know where you want to go. You know what you want to do. You know what it is that you're trying to um, invest here. Okay. I feel like some of you wanted to jump the leap of faith with somebody or are going to jump the leap of faith with somebody, but something here is disturbing this, okay? The Queen of Cups coming in reverse, to me, is like somebody here has stopped loving you the way they loved you before. I'm feeling like what they're telling me is this person is not showing the same love to you like they showed before. Okay, like you're feeling a little bit out in the cold and there's been problems in your home, problems around this person, problems in general, okay? And you're you're ready to cut the cord is what I'm hearing. You're ready to cut the cord. You're keeping things in silence, okay? And you're not letting people know what's going on around you, but there's been a lot of moments with your person that has been very destructive, okay? And you're about to like jump over and do yourself because you don't feel love here you don't feel the love that you felt once before is what i'm trying to say here with the queen of uh, cups in reverse okay hold on a minute and i'm not saying science today but you already know everybody knows the fool is aquarius okay and the Queen of Cups is Cancer energy, okay? Hold on a minute. What else for um, Scorpio here and their person, please? I feel like you don't feel loved. And just like you go through emotional moments because you don't feel love from your person. You might have let this person go already, or you're about to meet this person. You've been thinking about it. And for some of you, you're going to put up with it. But you're not feeling loved. I feel like you're not feeling loved. This person will treat you the same since the beginning. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio and their person, please? Listen, with that five of pentacles right there, and what they're telling me is like you feel like you're left out in the cold. You feel like you're just hanging there, like they have you hanging on a string, is what I'm 
they're tanging in the back. You feel left out in the cold. For some reason, that card is giving me that. You feel left out in the cold. Like, everything is gone. All the love. Everything you shared together. Everything is gone. But for some of you, you're moving on. And breaking all them cycles and all the shit that happened to you. You're moving on. You know what you want. You got better things to go after. And you're going after it. But for some of you, you're going to stick by this person and put up with it. Because you've invested so much time and so much energy. And there's things going on here with money that you cannot turn back. You have to finish that. And until you don't finish that, you're not going to move on. But you're willing to put up with, you know, feeling like this. And I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's not right. Because feeling like you're not loved and feeling like everything is changed with you and this person. But you're willing to put up with it because there's things that you have to finish with this person. Money situations, things you're building. Things that have to be built or things that have to do with money. Or changes that you guys are doing together. You could do that without being next to this person. Is my advice. You don't have to put yourself to this, to, through this heartbreak. Or it could be the other way around. Okay? It could be the other way around for Scorpio. But I see no people coming in here. Hold on a minute. What up for Scorpio, please? This, put, this person has put you through a lot of shit. And I'm feeling like this could be, you know, like, I don't know, between one to five years. But for many of you, I don't know. It could be 10 years or more for some reason. Hold on a minute. What else um, for Scorpio and their person, please? There's going to be changes no matter what. This cross energy right here. Queen of Pentacles. You've been loyal to this person. You're sitting and waiting for something. You're waiting for something to come in. There's something that's coming in. There's something that, you, that you're building. Something that's happening around you. And this person. And even for the ones that left this person or walked out. There's something that you are building here. And started building with this person. And you are waiting for it. It's moving a little bit slow, but it's kind of like moving quickly how you want it. But it's not, it's not serving you. This person was very loyal to you at some point, And then everything just went haywire. Hope it went sideways. Hold on a minute. What else for um, Scorpio, please? The shadow side. Listen, there's a lot of, <clears throat> I'm sorry, hidden secrets here. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of hiding. There's a lot of, listen, I feel like some of you are going through, and I hate when I gotta fucking say this. I feel like some of you are going through a lot of physical and mental abuse. And you're keeping it hidden when nobody knows. The way that they're telling me to see is, is like that. You're going through physical, mental abuse. Nobody knows about it. You keep it to yourself. Only your shadow knows about this when they're telling me in the back. Listen, nobody needs to stay in a relationship if you're going to this fuckery. And if you left, that's the best thing you did. And if you can't move forward because you're waiting for something, you need to move forward. Because this is wrong. This is wrong. You can get out of this. Look how scared that girl is. 
look at him, what have I done? And look at that shadow in the back. Look at the light in the back. You can get out of this. You choose not to. You're keeping this a secret from everybody. You're not letting nobody know that you're going through this. This is the secret I was seeing. But there's things that you have built with this person that you want to come in. You need to step out of this energy. You cannot be sitting there waiting for something material or whatever it is just because you're with this person and they're physically and mentally abusing you. It doesn't work that way. Nobody deserves to be mentally and physically abused. And cheated on. Because I have to say it. Because there were 10 minutes to say it, but I was trying to keep it a little bit together. Because there's cheating here too. This person has done it all. And somebody here for money is putting up with this. Or somebody here is going to get some money from this person that needs to come from this person. And they already dropped this person. Some of you are jumping into new things. Breaking towers. Breaking burdens. Breaking pain. Breaking hurt. Like y'all broke this shit already. Moved on. You know what you want. And for now you're still. You don't want nobody to come into your life. For some of y'all. You'd rather be alone than to be with the wrong person. I don't like the energy right there. At all. And whoever's going through this needs to step out of it. It could be you. It could be them. Just take it out, you know. But I'm telling you, this is happening. What is for Scorpio, please? Wow. This is crazy. I will not let nobody put their finger on me. I'll tell you that much. Anybody puts a finger on me, they're done. <laughs> they're done. Karma. Karma just came in. This person is going to get a lot of karma. And you're trying to balance the situation out, but there's no balancing this type of situation. There's no balancing this. You cannot balance out a situation of mental and physical abuse. There's no way of balancing it. This person wants to balance it. You cannot balance this shit. Listen, this person has a lot of darkness in them. Okay? Somebody here is calling upon their ancestors. And their ancestors are not coming through. Why? Because you choose to put yourself in this situation. Or if you left this person, when you were in the situation, you never got out of it. And the truth is, when you're in a situation like this and you choose not to get out of it for whatever reason it is, your ancestors, they see that. And they choose to back up. Why? Because there's always a way out. Even if you don't got family or home, nowhere to go. There's always shelters. There's always somebody that you could ask. They'll ask another person. It will go down the line. Just like bad news travels. Fuckery travels. Gossiping travels. When you want help, that travels too. I'm not saying that you're wrong for this. I'm not judging you for this. Okay? I'm just saying that whoever put themselves in this situation, they could have gotten out of this. And your ancestors, calling on your ancestors didn't do you no justice. Because you should have gotten yourself out of that. Hold on a minute. And that's not for everybody. What else for Scorpio, please? And I see a lot of you here playing with ancestors too. You're calling to things that you don't even know what you're doing. Stop playing with it. You're calling to things that you don't even understand. Stop playing with it. Because a lot of you are doing this. And this could be your person. Or it could be you. If you're trying to call on your ancestors, or you're trying to play with your ancestors, trying to um, manifest your ancestors, do it the correct way. Find somebody to help you. Don't do something that you don't know what you're doing because you don't know what you're you don't know what you're gonna get yourself into. Okay? 
You might draw things that you don't want them to come in. You feel me? Like, you just can't be uh, calling upon anything without knowing what you're doing. Find someone to help you that knows what they're doing. Because if you play like that, and I'm not saying that you're playing with your ass. I'm saying that you're playing with something that you don't know what's going to come in. You feel me? Three of Swords. Heartbroken. At the end of the day, Virgo. Uh, why would I say Virgo? Um, maybe because I just did Virgo. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. But at the end of the day, you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken because of this whole situation that's going on here. But at the end of the day, you're sitting there putting up with it. For some of y'all, some of y'all just hauled ass. And some of y'all move, like, moved on. And went to better things. Having doors opening for you. After all this happened, the doors are opening for you. You're getting better things coming your way. And you just want to be still. You're not wanting to get into a relationship right now. You're waiting for something better. Something that serves you. Someone loyal. But whoever's going through this, your heart is broken. Your heart is broken into pieces. You're keeping it quiet. Okay? Your ancestors ain't doing you no justice. Because... Whoever went through this and stayed in that situation when they can move on or whoever's going through this and knows they can get out of it, your ancestors are not going to help you. It's not happening. Because you know you can get out of it. The light is right there and you're not seeing it. You're not wanting to see it. I don't know who's going to resonate to that because it's very specific. But if you're in this situation, get some help. There's always a way out. I know sometimes it's... It's difficult. You don't got family. You don't got friends. You don't got nobody. You call shelters. They don't They don't answer back. They say you can't come in. COVID is here now. So everybody uses COVID as an excuse. I don't use COVID as an excuse. Everything now is COVID as an excuse. Fuck COVID. We've been living for, with COVID for a year, what, 14 months already? 15 months? We know how to live with the damn fucking virus already. Everything's an excuse. No, you got to push, push, push. When you call a place, oh, no, we can't help. Oh, you can't help me? Let me speak to your supervisor real quick. They're going to change their mind and start finding a way of they can help. Oh, you still can't help me? Let me speak to the manager. Let me speak to somebody higher than you. You call a, you call a family. Oh, you can't help me? All right, okay. You call a friend. You can't help me? All right, okay. No problem. Trust and believe some help is going to come your way. But don't stay in this energy. It's not healthy. My son's dog just started. I cannot deal with him. And now the other one, like, I don't know. What is, hold on, because I cannot have all that noise in the back. Give me a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to, like, tell them to take dogs out or something. All right. What is this person's intentions towards um, Scorpio, please? I mean, not Scorpio. Why would I say Scorpio? Are we doing Scorpio? Yeah, we're doing Scorpio. Them dogs got me out Look at this. <sighs> Taurus energy. You've been praying, Scorpio. You've been praying. This person feels like they could change everything. And I feel like this person that's coming out with this faith card is this person that's coming in new. I feel like this person wants to accept them, but at the same time, I feel like you're praying, Scorpio. But praying is not going to cut it. You need to move on. And for some of you, whoever did get out of the situation, you you gave thanks to God that you got out of the situation. What is this person's attention towards Scorpio, please? You might be dealing with a Virgo. Libra. Stuck in those two of swords. Scorpio. You're going through it. I'm not even going to lie. Whoever went through this is still going through it. Whoever is in it is going through it. And whoever... Whichever way you put it, you're going through it. And whoever's going to come in is like... You're just like there blindfolded like you don't want to see nothing like you've been through so much 
crazy. It's crazy. I hate this fuckery. Like, you cannot let things like this happen. You need to stop it quickly. And once it happens one time with the same person, it will keep on happening. That I can tell you. Let me see. What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio, please? This person This person and you went on picking up had a lot of blessings together when you were together. Had a beautiful life together, had a lot of nurturing, had a lot of things building together and everything went backwards for some reason. It went backwards. All the love, the nurturing, the good times, the fun times. Even if you even if you are with this person and you do have like, you know, little go outs together, whatever dates, nights together, whatever, it's not the same anymore. Everything doesn't feel the same. Everything's changed because of all of this crazy shit. What advice does my um ancestor give us to score for please? Partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trust worth by people to partner with. Build up a talent to support team. Build a support team. Find friends you could trust. Okay? You might have built up a support team. Because of what you're going through. I cannot make this shit up. Build a support team. That's how you're going to feel better. Patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you wait. Divine timing is on your time. I mean, on your, on your side. Play while you wait. Okay, patience. And you'll get out of this. But you can. The light is right there and you're not. Whoever's still in this energy, you need to get out of this. And whoever's waiting for something, patience. Patience. It's coming. Be patient with yourself. Love yourself. Learn how to trust again. Okay, pause before, you know, taking action and think about things. Think it through. You know, talk to yourself and make sure that when you step to something in, you know what you're doing, okay? What else here for um, Scorpio, please? It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. You see, somebody's coming your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. You deserve it. You've been through hell. Somebody's coming your way. Give them a chance, okay? And have patience with them. They're going to have patience with you. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So with this here and this here, do not rush into anything crazy, okay? Think about it. Analyze it. Have friends to support you. Build a support group. Have patience is what they're trying to say. Don't rush into nothing just because you want love. You want to jump into something else. Some of you are still, some of you don't even want a relationship. But if you do... Wait, allow nature to take its course because you might be jumping into another karmic relationship. Know what you deserve. 
Listen, give thanks for the blessing come to, soon to come your way. Know what you deserve. Okay? It clearly says it. Know that you deserve to be and have all that heart truly desires. Okay? Don't rush into nothing else crazy. Right? What is this person? It could be present, you know, past, future, even spirit here. What does this person want to tell um, Scorpio, please? What else? Okay, let me see what it, Oh my god, my leg is like on fire. My leg is on fire. Okay, it says, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Very clearly right there. I cannot make this shit up. Even though my motherfucking tried. So I don't know why they're feeling badly. Because the ones that should feel bad is you. So y'all take that how y'all want to take that. Alright. I'm not going to say nothing else. It says I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. They don't know how to apologize. They don't know what to say to you. And if you're in this situation. They know what they're doing. And they don't know what to say. Because they don't care. That's what I'm picking up. I still love you. So whoever you left, they still love you. No matter what they did, they still love you. I'm not going to say anything about that. I just hope I help somebody here. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. If you are in this situation, please find a way of getting out of it. Okay, your best support team is your spirit, guys. There's a lot of people in my channel that are going through things. Talk to each other, make friends in there, support each other, okay? I wish you the best of luck, Scorpio, okay? And I'll see you later, my loves.